In a historic shift, India and China have decided to disengage along the line of actual control, LAC, closing the chapter on a tense four-year standoff that strained relations between the two nations. This pivotal agreement comes in the aftermath of the violent clash in Galwan Valley in June 2020, which tragically resulted in the loss of 20 Indian soldiers and several Chinese troops, marking the deadliest confrontation in decades. The echoes of that battle linger, serving as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace between these neighboring countries. The troubles began with escalating tensions over patrol points in the Galwan Valley, culminating at Patrol Point 14, PP-14. Here, a seemingly innocuous disagreement over military camps ignited a fierce clash, shifting the dynamics in the region. India, emphasizing the need for peace in the border areas, made it clear that relations could not return to normal until stability was reinstated. This mantra guided the ensuing negotiations, highlighting how deeply entrenched the issues had become since the confrontation. The journey toward disengagement was not abrupt, but rather unfolded gradually through a series of diplomatic and military negotiations. The first glimmer of hope emerged in February 2021, when a collaborative decision was made to disengage at the Pangong Tso Lake area, setting a precedent for further discussions. High-level engagements between Indian and Chinese officials, including direct conversations between foreign ministers, doubled down on the commitment to thaw the icy standoff and address underlying concerns. Now with National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi actively involved in the agreement, both nations are embracing a broader resolution that could pave the way for lasting peace. This recent development bears not only local significance but international implications as well, reflecting the attention on the geopolitical landscape in Asia. Amid growing global interest in the India-China relationship, both countries are keen to create an atmosphere conducive to the normalization of bilateral ties. Moving forward, the focus will be on peaceful coexistence and ensuring regional stability. By fostering communication channels and strengthening diplomatic ties, India and China are taking crucial steps in building a foundation that prioritizes cooperation over conflict. The promise of a more peaceful future looms large, inspiring hope that a more stable partnership between these two nations is not just a distant dream, but an achievable reality.